Well, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to this delayed start. But nonetheless, the commentary and the footage is underway, as is our round four fixture between the Epping Football Club, the blue side, of course, facing off against the Rouse Hill Rams Soccer Club. Only three to four minutes has passed and we appreciate your patience with us. But welcome, ladies and gentlemen, Sunday, May 8th here at Valentine Sports Park for a pretty important day being Mother's Day, and there is not a cloud in the sky, ladies and gentlemen. It is as blue as blue, quite foreign to the weather we have been experiencing of late. But nonetheless, we have a 14-yard spot kick here to be taken by the number four, I think it might be, in T.O. That's Elise T.O. for the Epping Football Club. She comes in, strikes it off the right. Great save. Saved by the goalkeeper, and the ball trickles over the sideline and it will be a goal kick so great defensive effort early chance by the the yepping football club the blue side of course at least to unsuccessful on that occasion so the score remains nil nil so welcome once again to our under 18s women's division one round four fixture the Rouse Hill Rams, the team in grey, grey and blue, looking to keep their undefeated three from three effort here today. They're looking for four wins on the trot, where it's the Epping Football Club sitting in third position, who are two wins from three matches, and they're looking for win number three. So all the action being brought to you today by Sportscaster. We thank them for their ongoing support and their amazing footage that they continue to bring each and every week. Good defence by the Rams. They've only conceded one goal in their three fixtures, but a chance now by Epping. Trying to make their way inside the 19-yard box. They do just that. Lovely cross and the great finish there by Epping. It's the 10 and Raska. Jessica Raska. And she opens the scoring. 1-0. Epping lead. Lovely goal scored by the lady in the 10 jersey. A formidable sight seeing a 10 score a goal. A common sight if you're casting your eyes across the world of football. So 1-0. Epping blue lead. An unfamiliar sight for the Rams. They've only conceded one goal in three games, but they concede one early inside the opening 10 minutes. So concerns for the ladies in grey and blue. Epping one. Rouse Hill nil. And a chance now for the Rams, but and the ball is kept in play. But it's met with a couple of grey jerseys and it's cleared down the pitch here at Valentine Sports Park. And now it's Head. Stephanie Head, but the ball beats her over the sideline. Alicia Foley clearing it on that occasion. 1-0. Epping lead. Not what you'd expect if you've kept up to date with the fixtures, the results and the ladders in this women's under-18s Division 1 competition. The Rams, dominant. 21 goals in three games. Scoreless inside the opening exchanges of this one. And a lovely downtown kick. Nice skill shown there by Raska. The lone goal scorer in this one. And the ball's kicked over the goal line for a goal kick. And the first touch of the afternoon for Jenna McAway. In fact, you know, she gives the ball to Darlin, Bronte Darlin. And a lovely kick, some good height on that by Darlin. And now Teo. She misses the ball and the Rams still possess it. They're putting the ball at the right end of the field. Raska, she's charging. 
And the ball's cleared. And poorly on that occasion. A goal. Well, it's now a corner, in fact. Not a great kick by the defenders for the Rams. So another chance for Epping to turn one into maybe two as they send the troops inside the 18-yard box. Cross comes in. Misses a few. May have touched an arm there. The referee says no. Let's play on. There's some patient play by Epping. As that's and a clearing kick, and it will be a throw in for Epping. Epping looking the dangerous side. They're third on the ladder. Five goals, four. Make that six, including this round four fixture here today. And only one against, and it's the Rams with 21 goals in just three games. Do the math there, ladies and gentlemen. 21 goals in three games and only one against, but they've conceded one early here this afternoon. As we said, it's Epping Football Club, the under-18s blue team. One, leading Rouse Hill nil. Chance. Raska looking for two. Good defence once again by Epping, but oh, a bit of a rough challenge there by Evie Petter. And the referee agrees and says, let's have a penalty kick. So Bronte Darlin, she's been good in defence early in the opening exchange of this one. A lovely cross kick, but it's met by a Rouse Hill defender once again, and now a chance to go on the counter-attack. Can they do just that? But it's not a great pass, and it trickles over the western sideline here at Valentine Sports Park. Once again, we thank you for your company here today. All the action brought to you by Sportscaster. The footage is always picturesque, as is the Sunday afternoon here. Blue skies, the mercury tipping 24 degrees. Grimer crosses it in. Steedman's there. Maybe a deflection. And the referee says no, it's coming back for a goal kick. So as we touched on, it's the Rouse Hill Rams. They've had three matches so far in season 2022. Ideally an unaffected season because the last two seasons have been just that heavily affected with the pandemic. That's struck the nation, struck the global world. But they've started very strongly. They've had three games, as we said, 21 goals, four, but they find themselves down 1-0 against the third place Epping Football Club, the blue team. Chance now. Epping. Long kick. Probably not the right option as the keeper there in Spark. Clears it. Grimer. Nice kick. Finds a teammate. Head now. Once again, her white jersey's there. Here's, here's trouble. Raska looking for two. Lovely little pass. And the clearing kick comes off the leg of Raska. And so Spark will take it with two hands and elects it to kick it to the halfway line. As almost a head-on-head -head contact. And there is. And that's not what we want to see, ladies and gentlemen. The 12 in Riley Cameron. It was a, a dual header or at least a header attempt and there may have been some cranium on cranium skull on skull contact so we really hope that riley cameron is is okay she's being attended to by it looks like the head coach and the trainer at, at this time can't seem to see any She's currently been attended to, as we said, by the trainers, and we've been given the courteous heads up that the score is, in fact, one all. As I said, we were making our way up the lift. That could have been could have been slower than a than a snail's pace, maybe. But nonetheless, we've 
found her way to the grandstand. A little bit delayed. We thank the Valentine's Sports Park staff. And as I said, we missed the first and opening goal by Rouse Hill Rams. We'll try and get the goal scorer as we see Riley Cameron up on her haunches, conversing with the coach. And we wish her all the very best. And to Mr. and Mrs. Cameron, we hope that your daughter is okay. And Mrs. Cameron, we hope you're having a, a lovely Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day to you, as well as all the mothers out there today. And Riley's making her way from the pitch, but she's walking herself off, which is fantastic to see. And that could be her afternoon done and dusted. So as we said, we've just been given a, a tap on the shoulder, so to speak. And the score is, in fact, one all in this round four fixture between Rouse Hill and Epping Blue. Goal scorer for Epping, the 10 in Jess Rasker. Lovely goal. They had a chance to open the scoring moments early with a penalty kick, but were unsuccessful. But a few moments later, they scored through Jess Rasker. So it's one all. Here we've got McMahon. Sends it across. Darlin. And she elects to let it trickle over the sideline. To the advantage of the Ram side. And a substitution as we see Charlotte Sultana make her way on the pitch here today for the Rouse Hill team. And the touch judge official says, let's bring it back for a epping throw in. Throwing to be taken by that lady in Darlin. She tries to find Schwarz, but unintentionally the ball trickles over the sideline once again for a Rouse Hill throw in now. And we've got Ferreira. But now a chance. Raska. Now a clearing kick by the Rouse Hill defensive line. And it will be Darlin for a free kick. She'll use that big right boot of hers, and she does just that. Crushes it across, but finds the eight in Grimer. And the big, long strides of Kayla Allen. She looks for the cross. It's a lovely one. Finds Raska. No, in fact, it's McMahon. And Teo comes through and kicks it over the goal line for a goal kick. So Epping... Trying to turn one into two. They look the danger, the more dangerous of the two sides at the moment. As Olivia, Olivia Zvark uses that big kick. Finds the wrong jersey colour. Chance for Epping again. But the grey team and the Rams clear it through. Alsop. And now can they go on the counter attack? Lovely little touch there by head but once again a bit of a poor control shown there by the Rams and it's Alsop who heads it over the sideline in desperation to slow down this onslaught by the Epping team and it's a cross field clearing kick good control Shown there. Lovely control there by Grimer. She's looked really good. Here's Allen. And a missed opportunity now. So head. She's got the ball at her feet. Finds Grimer. She's been good. The head and the Grimer combination. I like the look of it, ladies and gentlemen. But a clearing kick by the Rouse. Or by the Epping defence. And Olivia Spark is... Had her fair share of the ball at her disposal. And she sends a clearing kick over the sideline. And the chance to go quickly here. They do just that through Raska, but good defence by 
Tess Olsup once again. Playing it safe at the moment. Unfamiliar for the Rams. Three from three. Haven't lost a game. And they've been winning in convincing style. But Epping have come out firing in the opening 25 in this one. So as we touched on, 21 goals in, we'll make that 22 in four fixtures for the Rams. Their opening match was a 16-0 win. 16-0 win over the rest wide West Ride Rovers. Say that five times quickly. And then you've had a 3-0 win over the Macquarie Dragons and a 2-1 win over Rosalie Football Club. So a close one last week for the Rams, but their opening two matches were dominant, especially round one. 16-0 West Ride Rovers. Goodness me. And Grimer, nice kick. Tries to find a teammate there. Chance for Sultana. Steedman. Oh, inside the 18 yard box. She went down, but the referee said play on. As Raska, good defense. In the last few moments, Raska will have certainly turned it up. Good header there by Olsup. She's found herself at the other end of the field. But a chance now. Allen, nice kick. Can Tio get there? Sprinting down the touchline, but the ball will just beat her for a Rouse Hill throw in. So 1-0, oh, sorry, should I say one apiece, one all, Rouse Hill Rams, Epping Football Club Blue. Nothing separates the two. 25 gone first half here at Valentine Sports Park in our round four fixture of this, the under-18s women's division one competition. We thank you for your company on this picturesque Sunday afternoon, May 8th. And it is a beautiful afternoon. I hope you're enjoying your Mother's Day, wherever that may be. Because these girls are enjoying their football as it's one all and the referee says a free kick to the Rouse Hill team. A couple of bright orange boots on display. Certainly wouldn't miss them if the lights turned off. It's a crossing kick to McMahon. And now Schwartz, she's been good. McMahon, lovely kick. Schwartz is there. So is Rasker if she can find her. Lovely cross kick in the box. Good defense though, Rams. And Amber Hare just can't control it. So Epping really pushing hard here, but they've had plenty of opportunities. They might need to turn those chances into points. One apiece. Tries to find Raska with the throw in. But it's Alsop once again. Test Alsop. She's been very busy. Nice throw in. Looks to find Allen. Still with Allen now. Beats one. Tries to beat another. Good defense again by Rouse Hill. And Sophia Moon finds Allen. She's a tall young lady, Kayla Allen. And she's been very busy this afternoon. Nice header by Alicia Foley. Just can't find the white jersey. Chance, Ferreira. And, but a lovely clearing kick by Foley. As safe as houses, as they say. And the score remains 1-1. Sultana finds Watson and Stephanie Head gets a free for her team, a free kick. So a chance for the Rams to reclaim the lead. And it'll be one of the busiest ladies in Sydney, Tess Olsup. She deserves a well-earned Gatorade or Powerade this afternoon. And also off the right. It's a lovely rangy kick. Chance. Still inside the 18-yard box. Ferreira off the right. But just trickles over the goal line for a goal kick. It's been a good game of football so far. Chances at either end for both sides. Following this fixture, of course, is our MOTR, our match of the round. In our Hills Football Open Women's Competition. 
Should be a fantastic game. The Winston Hills Red Bears fighting off against the North Rock Soccer Club. As we see a chance now. Rouse Hill, it's Watson. Crossing kick. Oh! And Hannah Reed. By the barest of inches, just misses the top of the net. And it goes over the goal posts for, once again, a Jenna McAway goal kick. Wearing the, the cap out there today. Sun safe from Jenna. Good to see. It's a very warm afternoon. As I said, unfamiliar. Seeing this blue stuff in the sky. Apparently it's, it's a blue sky, not an overcast one. So 21 degrees here in Glenwood at Valentine Sports Park. And a chance for Rouse Hill. Last few minutes of play has been certainly down in the attacking end for Rouse Hill. Plenty of chances. The score remains 1-1. Nice pass. Finds Reed. The attempt a few moments ago. Just missing the top of the goal area. Also tip. Now Epping, defending nicely. It's the 15 there. Or should I say the 19, and Metcalf. Metcalf still. McMahon. Find Schwartz. Lovely pass. Raska just couldn't keep it at her feet. Now it's Hannah Reed. She's been busy in the last few exchanges. Great defence, but the ball does come off Metcalf for a Rouse Hill goal kick. Olivia Spark, she may elect to go the, the gentle pass. She does just that and finds Alsop. Lovely kick, look to find teammate Steedman. Streaming for the ball. The Rams in attacking territory again, but another white jersey there to defend. Good defense by the Rouse Hill team. As the ball may have gone over that, that barbed wire fence over there, and the coach of Rouse Hill said, here's another one. Let's keep the game going, and I agree. 1-1. One, one. Nothing separates the two. Throw in by... Rouse Hill. And the referee believes that, sorry, it's Epping, should maintain the ball. Another chance now, Epping. Good defence by Steedman. Clearing kick and why not have another chance, young lady? Three throw-ins in as many seconds almost. Throws it in. Ferreira's there. Still with Ferreira. Nice pass. Left foot kick. Looks to find head. Can head keep it in? She can. Great cross. Goalkeeper may just beat them all. And Jenna McAway. Well kept. And not the greatest of kicks. Could have been a handball against Rouse Hill. The referee, he doesn't miss that. Also with the cap on today. Could be a flat brim out there, is it? A flat brim cap. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Bring it back. Hope everyone's being sun safe today. We could be cherry red in the commentary box here by the end of it. And another substitution. Stephanie Head makes her way back on the Valentine Sports Park today. Hannah Reed. And smart option. Kicks the ball into... Taylor Allen for a Rouse Hill throw in. It's a nice throw in. It's a big one. And a nice left foot kick from Grimer. And it's a clearing kick, but 
The spin of the ball just was unable to control it by the Rams there. So now we have Darlin. Good clearing kick by Rouse Hill. The header just missed by McMahon. And now it's Hedges. Hedges just passes the ball up almost over the sideline, but well controlled. Grimer beats one. Looks very dangerous, does Grimer. Off the left. Well saved. McAway, she's been busy. On the left wing here, we've got Grimer, Charlotte Grimer. The control she's displayed with the ball at her feet has been nothing short of sensational. But getting it past Jenna McAway today is proving a pretty tough task. As McAway looks to the sideline and says, I've got a nice little scratch up the left thigh and on the left elbow. And we, if you've ever played on Astro Turf before, you know how painful they can be. Not even just on the Sunday, the day off, but oh, if you've got to go back to school or have to wear some long apparel. And that clothing sticks to those cuts. Which is a tough week. Tio. Little kick over the top as Allen charging for the ball. And no choice but for Darcy Fister to kick the ball over the sideline. One all. Only a few moments to go in our first half of this round four fixture in the under 18s women's division one contest can the rams keep their undefeated streak alive oh when we see a tough exchange there by tess also or can we see the epping blue side record their third victory of the season tio Good header and to unable to keep the ball in her hands on that occasion. Luckily, she was on the sideline. But she knows what she's doing. As do all these ladies today. A fantastic first half of football and shown on display. Once again, we thank you, the Sportscaster team, for bringing us all the action here on this beautiful Sunday afternoon. High, rangy kicks, Vark though. Lovely take. Like Mark wore in the slips. She was never dropping that. Chested. Rams now, chance. But the ball trickles over the touchline and it was Sophia Moon who kicked it over. So it will be a throw in. And Charlotte Grimer, best on ground by a mile at the moment. Almost a handball. Speaking of Grimer, she keeps the ball in, but gives it back to Metcalf. Passes. Beats Allen. Doesn't beat the Rouse Hill defence, though. Metcalf. Throws in. Allen. Chested. Well controlled. Almost a nutty there. And another throw in for Metcalf. Metcalf looks for a teammate there, but once again, there's a grey jersey everywhere that ball goes. And a chance for a counter-attack. Nice pass. Maybe I retract that statement. Not a great, not a great pass. And Hedges throws it in. Downtown, but guess who? Grimer. Ferreira. Should I say Cavallo? And it's a kick back, and we see Zvark using that right boot of hers. Another clearing kick required. And it's well controlled on that occasion. And kicked into the back of McKenna for a Rouse Hill throw in. 
Epping Blue one, Rouse Hill Rams one. Metcalf just says, let's slow things down here. McKenna throws it in. Allen in. Saved. Spark. She's been busy, Spark. More touches than an office works iPad. Ship over the top. Moon. Can't control it. Watson. Head. Cleared away. T.O. Still with T.O. Lovely work, T.O. Crossing kick. Beats them all, though. Guess who? Spark. Give her a Gatorade. Something. As she falls to the ground in desperation. She's been busy. Only one's gone past her. She saved a penalty goal from the 12-yard spot only a few moments ago. But a chance now. Allen. Allen. Still with Allen. Kicks it over the goal line. Guess who? Spark. Now, I'm pretty warm in this commentary box, so if Olivia Spark isn't the warmest woman in Sydney, I'll give it away. She's covered head to toe. In dark apparel, so I hope they've got some a hydration station on the sideline for her. Allen. No, in fact, it's Metcalf. Still with Metcalf. Lovely one-two touch. Beats another. Nutty on that occasion. Oh, Metcalf. Still with Metcalf. Solo effort. Beat three. But Grimer. Best on ground. There once again. She's attacking well, but she's also defending just as good. Chance. Rouse Hill. Can't be cleared. Hedges misses the chance. Back to Grimer. Danger signs. Good kick. It's head now. Head has a chance. Shouldn't have gone herself. Had a few teammates screaming in the 18 yard box, but elected to go herself and kicks the ball over the goal line for a goal kick. And McAway says, I've done enough. Have a kick for me, please, darling. And she does. Schwartz. As we see the referee award a goal kick. And it will be Hannah Reid. About 35 yards out from the goal. Looks to go high, I'd assume. Does just that. Goes for it. Misses everything. Misses it all. And it's another epping goal kick. One, one. Round four fixture. Under 18s, women's division one matchup. Darlin off the right. Finds the wrong team, but cleared away by Moon. Still with Moon. Nice kick. Intercepted though. Hedges. Downtown kick. And pressing there was Allen. She's been very good up front, the young lady. As has this lady in Metcalf, the 19, the 16. Metcalf and Allen been very, very dangerous. The lone scorer in Raska. Haven't seen her with the ball at her feet lately. As we see Allen just turn the ball over. Steedman, but Darlin there, and she gives the ball back to Rouse Hill in the form of a throw-in. Also, big kick. Foley's there though, chasing. Down and Foley. It's not what she wanted. She wanted it over the sideline, but it's gone out for a corner kick. So another chance with only a few moments to go before the break. Who's going over for the corner kick? 
It's the seven and Amber Hare. Let's see if Amber can get enough under this to maybe see a header out or a chance for Rouse Hill to reclaim the lead. So it's Hare. Corner kick. Comes in. Strikes it. Didn't come off great. Screaming for a handball. Ah, oh, the Rouse Hill side, but Teo's there. It's at her feet. It's a nice clearing kick. Alsop back inside the 18-yard box. Alsop again. Watch out. Grimer knees it to herself. Chests it to herself. Sultana. Good pass. Well controlled. Monago. Cleared by Hedges. Also, ah, oh, lovely display there. The young lady, the 12 in Schwartz, needs to find Raska. Schwartz, oh, can't get past that last defender. And Darcy Frista, beautiful defence, saved almost a certain goal. Schwartz inside, finds Raska. But not a great clearing kick. It could go out for a goal kick. No, well controlled. Schwartz again. Chance. Misses everything. Sparks there once again. High. Rangy kick. Metcalf. Not a best. Throw in. Rouse Hill. One one, nothing separates these sides. We've touched on a few occasions, and a true word hasn't been spoken. Possession would be fifty apiece. The market, the tab, he'd call it a dollar ninety apiece. You can't split the two, even as even. Some would say Stephen. And Foley hands the ball. Back to Rouse Hill, Monago looks to go long with a throw in. It's nice. It's in the box. Grimer. Crossing kick. Once again, good defence. Chance. Steedman off target. And McAway says, Bronte, Miss Darlin. Send it into orbit once again, please. Get it out of here. Darlin, nice kick. 35 on the fly. Chance. Allen. Quickest on the field. She looks a bit tired now. Metcalf. Still with Metcalf. Traps the ball to herself. Finds Allen. Where's Raska? Where's Schwartz? There she is. Lovely pass. Looks for Metcalf. Unsuccessful, but Epping possessed the ball. Schwartz, the 12. She's been great. But she hands the ball back to Hare. And it's a nice throw in. It's a big throw in. Chance. Head kicks the ball into the box. But McAway. She's there once again. Well controlled. Steedman. Finds head. Back to Steedman. Hare. Tries it all herself. In fact, it's Sultana. But a clearing kick by Foley. Better on that occasion. So Rouse Hill pressing hard here late in the first half. Petta. Almost off a hand. Referee says no thanks. Steedman. Not a great cross kick. And Teo. Counter attacking time. Darlin's there. Steedman. Still with Steedman. And Darlin's sent it over the sideline. Steedman says, says Amber Hare. Sent it to Tess also. Not her best kick of the afternoon. Schwartz. Danger. Very speedy young lady. Not much of her. She'd be maybe sub five foot and she's absolutely lightning. 
It is very warm out here, ladies and gentlemen, and on the Astro turf, it is unforgiving when it is hot. So a well-earned drinks break for these ladies in a few moments' time. Nice tap kick. Lovely control by the Rams. But better defence. Lovely defence. And that ball may just beat everyone over the goal line. And it does just that. Just as the first half comes to an end, ladies and gentlemen. So that brings an end to our first half here in our round four fixture. It's the Epping Football Club. Blue side one. All level with the Rouse Hill Rams one as well. We'll see in a few moments' time on the other side of this.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our second half of this round four fixture. And it's a picturesque afternoon. And what a better day than the day that is the day of the mothers. That's right, Mother's Day here at Blacktown, or should I say Valentine Sports Park. It's one apiece between the Rouse Hill Rams and the Epping Football Club, the blue side. Nothing separates the two and nothing should separate you from your mother at some stage today because without them, we certainly, quite literally, wouldn't be here as we see McAway get her hands on the ball and for the first time in a second half. And Sultana sends it downtown. So who's going to break the deadlock? Who's going to stand up for either of these two sides and say, it's 2-1, no longer one apiece? Will it be Rasker and Schwartz and maybe Kayla Allen or could it be Steedman, Head or maybe Grimer? The next 40 minutes or so will answer that question for us. So stay tuned here for our under-18s Division 1 matchup. And Petter, she tries to get the ball in some better position for the Rouse Hill team. And it will be a Rams throw in. So the Rams looking to hang on to their unbeaten start to the season. Three wins from as many games. And it's the Epping Blue side who have... Just got the two wins in three matches as we see an offside flag by our touch sideline official. And it will be, who is it, Moon down there potentially? Don't think it's Sophia Moon. We just can't see her jersey number at the moment. But nonetheless, an Epping player to dispatch this ball as far as she can. Reefs it off the right. Looks to find Tio, but there's... Cavallo beats Tio. Still with Cavallo. Nice pass, but it's intercepted. And McMahon now. She's back on the pitch. Looks to find Allen, the quickest lady in Sydney. Allen. Still with Kayla Allen. Off the right. Has a shot. Oh. Misses. By the barest of margins. And Allen with a chance. To turn one into two. But just misses to the left of the goal. Score remains. 1-1. One, one. As Hare sends it. Trapped by Tio. Cavallo over her head. Lovely kick. Just not enough oomph from Raska. Looking for her second. And Olivia's Fark puts it off the right. One bounce over the sideline. <laughs> Lovely kick. Darlin's there. She's been good at the back. Petta. Intercepted. Tio now. Lovely pass. Well controlled. McMahon. Schwartz. Out there to Allen. Still with Allen. Off the right. Ties it all herself. Schwartz there again. But the official says we're coming back for a penalty. Inside the 18-yard box, but it's not in the favour of Epping. It's, in fact, at the possession of Cavallo. Cavallo. Lucky kick there. It was Petter. Now it's been kicked upfield. Heads there. Chance now. Grimer. Back to Petter. Intercepted. Foley, she's been good. Smart, smart choice, smart decision. Over the sideline for a Petter. A Rouse Hill throw in. Petter. Mm. 
Monago. She's all the way back on the fence, so she's going to go long. Reefs it in. 18-yard box. Where you want it to be, but Tio. Terrific Tio. She's there again. Raska sends it up the ground. Allen just can't possess the ball, and it's cleared away. And Hannah Reed. But now, Schwartz. She's quick. She's good. Sends it inside. Probably not the right choice there to kick it over the goal line, but nonetheless, she does. And Allen will make her way across for a corner kick. Could this be the moment to break the deadlock? 1-1. One, one. As the troops make their way inside the 18-yard box. Allen off the right. Finds it. Good header. And it's Grimer. She's been good. Bit quiet in the second half, though. Chance now, Rams. They've got numbers. They need a right kick. Good interception. Still with the Rams, though. Sultana, she can't keep it at her feet. But Steedman can. Tio once again, well cleared. Schwartz. She's going to go herself. Almost taken there by Grimer. And it is. Great defense. Sent downtown. Chance. Rams. Big chance. Can they control it? Good defense. Great defense, Foley. Fantastic Foley, we'll call her. Nice clearing kick. Saves almost a certain goal. Lovely effort by the six in Alicia Foley. For the Epping side. So at one end of the park, the Rams are almost scoring. And then a few moments later, it's Epping. What a great game of football this has been. Exciting. Still one all though. Allen, the big long launches. Can she get inside the box? She does. Needs some troops with her though. She elects to calm the ball down. She kicks it into the Rouse Hill defender for once again. An Epping corner. So what can she muster here, Alan? Her last kick was probably not enough. Needs a little bit more oomph. As we see a couple of the white jerseys make their way inside that 18-yard box. Allen, that's better. Coming through, header, chance, cleared Rams. Good defence. Darlin. Teo. But Sultana with it now. Lovely kick. Chance, counter-attack, screaming for it in the centre. Was head. Still with the Rams, though. Watson now. Lovely pass, but offside. Offside is Evie Petta. And we'll come back for a penalty kick. So, it's incredible stuff. Allen with the corner. Almost an epping goal. And then seconds later, there's a counter-attacking chance for the Rouse Hill Rams. There's a reason by these sides are second and third. Nothing separates the two on the ladder. And nothing separates them here this afternoon at Valentine Sports Park. 1-1. One, one. And it's Darlin. Once again, that big right boot of hers. Does she go long? She does. Intercepted though. Chance. Steedman. Steedman. Finds. Who have we got there? Grimer off the left. Saved. Saved. McAway again. Only one's gone past her. Let's see if she can keep it the same way. The Rams pressing though. Grimer. Back to head. Grimer now. Cleared Epping. And the sun disrupting the, the vision of the Epping side as we see a penalty kick awarded to 
Looks like Epping, and it is. So on this beautiful Sunday afternoon, we hope you're enjoying your morning, your afternoon, or your day. We just hope you're having good fun here on Mother's Day, because we certainly are here. Alongside the sportscaster side, my name is Ben Eisenhuth. I'll be your league caller this afternoon, all afternoon, including the 3 p.m. match of the round. My main man, Chesa, bringing you all the action here with sportscaster. Hasn't missed a beat, the young man. And he's also pretty good with the ball in his hands on the court as we see a right foot chance going astray for the Epping side. And the referee wants to have a chat. Looks like he's going over to Allen and she looks like she's in a little bit of trouble. She's on her haunches. She may even be unwell, to be honest with you. She's done plenty of running, so she's probably allowed to have... A break, but looks like she's staying on for now. In fact, no, she may be coming off is Kayla Allen. So what an afternoon she's had. Kayla Allen, the 16 for Epping. A well-earned break as we see Iris McKenna make her way on. I think Mr. and Mrs. Allen, she's okay is Kayla. She's just going to rehydrate as Teo intercepts the clearing kick. Still with Teo. Still with Teo. Now it's the Rams. Cameron, Riley Cameron, muscling her way up the pitch. And the, the blast touch came off the Epping side. As we see Cavallo. Still with Cavallo. Finds Ferreira. The 30. Ferreira. Still with Ferreira. Cavallo. Ferreira, Grimer. Grimer tries to do the one-two and get around it, but can't. And a safe clearing kick by Hannah Reed allows an epping throw in. So we see Georgia McMahon kicks the ball and regathers it. It's a nice pass, but. Schwarz, she probably may have got that if she went earlier, but she hasn't stopped running all day. So she lets that ball trickle over the sideline, and it could be a throw-in, I'd think, and it will be just that. 1-1. Under-18, Women's Division 1. Rass Hill Rams. The Blue Epping Football Club. Grimer. Good kick, but better defence. Intercepted, Ferreira. Cleared. Throw in Epping. Can Schwartz get into open pasture? Can she get into the clear? We know how quick she is. So is that lady, Raska. Raska maintains the ball. Not the best kick, but Schwartz is quick. Off the right. She's so fast, that young lady. Lucy Schwartz. Give her an inch, she'll take a mile. And it looks like a Rouse Hill throw in there. So we thought that Raska may have turned the ball over, but she got it off the right. Only just, and Schwartz was there. In the blink of an eye. Ball kept in. Rouse Hill. Left foot kick downtown. Chance. Watson. Tries to kick the ball back. Grimer can't keep it in. And Epping. And Epping throw in. 1-1 one, one still. Who's going to break the margin? Who's going to stand up and be accounted for? Will it be that lady, Grimer? Will it be Raska? Will it be Lucy Schwartz? Only time will tell. Throw in now. Well thrown. Sophia Moon was 
back there for Epic. As we see, Reed kicked the ball, but it was touched by an Epping player. Moon, still with Moon, but the ball now, once again, a Rouse Hill throw in. In this, our Northwest Sydney football competition, we thank them for allowing us to call this amazing fixture here today, a round four fixture. Once again, the sports caster team bringing you all the action. Ches and the guys doing a superb job as always. We thank them for bringing you this magnificent imagery and this magnificent footage as we see Rouse Hill. Lovely throw in. Chance off the right. Doesn't beat the keeper. Of course it doesn't. And McAway loses her cap in the meantime. Does Jenna. Off the right. Big kick. If he gets the right bounce, could have been a handball, and it is. So a handball and an epping free. So who's going to take the penalty kick, the free kick for the epping side? Looks to be the three. Of course it is. Bronte Darlin. She's had many a spot kick this afternoon. And she adds to that tally here. Bronte. Will she go... The big one. She does. Chance. Tio's there. Tio. Oh. Just misses. Elise Tio had one to beat. And it was the keeper. It was Spark. And Spark didn't even need to touch it because Tio, her accuracy just wasn't there. Chance goes missing. Mark that down, ladies and gentlemen. Speaking of which, Tio. And the referee awards another penalty to the Rams. And they elect to go quickly. Nice kick. But intercepted again. Epping looking the better side, I'd say, in this second half. Have I spoken too soon? Darlin. Nice kick. Watch out for her. Jess Raska. She's got Cavallo coming across in defense. Raska. Good defense by Cavallo. Raska beats her, though. Needs a good cross. Probably not the play. Had the time, didn't use it. Cameron. Tio now. She had a chance earlier, but Raska tries the little chip kick. Unsuccessful. And Cavallo says, I'm a bit worried about Raska. I'll just put this one over the touchline. And she does. So we've got Elise Teo. Wasn't that a chance gone amiss? One on one with the keeper. How often does that happen in the game of football? So rare. So infrequent. And she missed the opportunity just as the throw in misses everything. Misses it all. And we'll have Olivia Zvark. Or should I say, no, it is Vark with the ball at her feet. She may elect for Darcy, is it Fister? In fact, no, Spark says, I'll have this one. I'm in the shade. I feel good. I feel ready. And she kicks it. Finds Tio, though. She's been good. She's been dangerous. Plenty of touches in the last few moments. But Rassel are defending well. And guess who? That's right, Tio. And it was off Tio there, so... Her hair, Amber hair, throws it in, but not the best control on display there by Sophie Watson. And a quick throw in by Darlin. Probably didn't need to go that fast. But now a chance. May have opened the door for Rousel here. And that kick could be strong, but still. Watson, can she trap it? Can she control it? She says, I don't need to, because it's a corner kick for the Rousel side. So they've done all the defending. And they haven't let one in. And wouldn't this be something if they can turn defence into a goal? So we see that young lady, the seven, in amber hair. How big is her right foot? She'll need to really reef this one. Hair. Arm in the air. Ball two. Chance. No. Didn't have enough on it. Lovely defence again. Guess who? Is that Foley? Fantastic Foley. Sprinting away. Lovely kick. Can she find 
Raska, she can't. And it's cleared over the sideline. 1-1. One, one. Halfway through our second half. Will they share the points, these two sides? Or can someone stand up and be counted for? Break this deadlock. Could it be this lady, Tio? She had the chance. Can she capitalise next time? Well, let's see. Tio. Referee says handball. The ladies scream for it. And the penalty's awarded. Also. Hasn't had many touches in the second half, but she was very busy in the first half was Tess. Just stretching those hips, getting some lower and mid-back mobility. Running on this firm Astro turf certainly can stiffen you up. As also shakes off the shoulders, kicks it long. Misses them all and fantastic Foley, FF, F squared, clears it again. Ferreira, lovely little control shown there. Look out. Chance Rams, 12. Cameron, Cameron, oh, they went down hard, the girls. Cameron's back up. And guess who? Foley. She's fantastic and she's back up. And she may have set a goal up here. Chance, Kayla Allen, she's back on. We know her speed. Doesn't need to rush. Lovely pass for herself. Has a shot. Misses everything. Ball still in play though. Schwartz needs to find a teammate. Doesn't find T.O. But it will be an epping throw in. Allen. It's like she came out of nowhere. Back on the pitch and nearly a goal. Teo looks for Speedy Schwartz. Speedy Schwartz now. Tries to beat one. Good defense. Alsup. And the last touch was off Epping. So Alsup, great defense. Held her nerve. Gets the ball back. Lovely. Lovely stuff, Steedman. Steady Steedman. Loving these nicknames. They'll be coming all day. Big chance now. Cameron. Nice kick. Finds head. Head. Can she find Grimer? She can't. Chance now still for the Rams. Is that Steedman? Steedman off the right. Tries to control it. Still has the ball. Clearing kick. And there's a player down in the 18-yard box. Can't just see the number at the moment, but she's in a Rams jersey. She's still down, but now she makes her way back up to her feet. It may have been Amber Hare. She's okay. She's shaking it off, and she's walking around. It wasn't Hare. It was the four. It was Charlotte Sultana, but she's okay. And the referee has a quick discussion with his sideline official, and they say, no, there was no infringement there. But there will be a corner kick to Amber Hare. Now, this is the third or fourth kick Amber's had. She just needs to give it an extra two or three metres with effort. So, what can she do? You'll see the right hand go up shortly. There it is. She comes in. Strikes the ball. Bit better that time. Still not big enough. Goal kick. McAway. And we see Alicia Foley, a low clearing kick, intercepted. Looks like Ferreira over there. And Epping now doing the defending. Rouse Hill just upping that intensity in the last few moments of play. 1-1, one, one. Mother's Day, May 8. Beautiful day. A couple of clouds starting to make their way in the foreground here at Valentine Sports Park, but it is a beautiful Sunday. Wherever you are, wherever you're watching, wherever you're listening, happy Mother's Day to those mums and a happy Sunday to all. Because what better way to spend it than maybe with a schooner anew, a Shiraz, 
a cold beverage in your hands, watching some fantastic female football. Play on. Rams, can they capitalise? Grimer says, have a go, Ferreira. She has a strike. Good defence. Riley Cameron, she's been very good since she's come on the park. Still with Cameron. Lovely. Beats two or three. Cameron. Still with, now it's possessed by Epping. Not a great kick. I think it's Steedman over there in the 11 jersey. Looks to try and get the ball back, and she does. How big can this lady Cameron throw this ball in? Or will she elect to go short? No, she's coming off the fence. Throws it over her head. It's a nice kick for Rara. Finds Sultana. Once again, Foley. She's there off the right. Off the right there by Charlotte Sultana. But McAway, she's only let one pass up. As we see, an accidental header by Sultana. They're called a Falcon, aren't they? Reed. Hare. Good defence by Tio. And also, once again, as safe as houses. Tio. Guess who? Also, that long rangey type. Nice pass. Hair goes big. Grimer's there. Can she control the ball, Grimer? She can. Kicks it in. Ferreira's there. Ferreira controls the ball. Still with Ferreira. No, intercepted. Lovely pass. Low. It's hard. But it may beat everyone over the goal line. No, in fact, it's great control by Hedges. And Hedges keeps it in. And the last touch was off a Rouse Hill foot. So Emily Metcalf will get us back underway. She throws it in. Tries to find Kayla Allen. We know how quick she is, but there's an infringement. And a penalty kick awarded to Rouse Hill. So a free kick here. And it's a looping kick into center play. Raska back doing some defense now. But it's the eight. Grimer. Grimer chance. Grimer. Oh. Just to the right of the goal. I think McAway may have saved it regardless. She seems to have scraped that left knee once again. But Grimer so dangerous in the 18 yard box. That left bang off the foot. But it just missed. The woodwork just missed the goal. As Foley clears it. Rouse Hill upping the ante. Ferreira, she's been great. Lovely pass back. Steedman trying to get the ball into a better position. But she's met by two Epping defenders. And is that Foley? Tries to find Allen, but good defense. Once again, Rouse Hill. They're looking dangerous, Rouse Hill. They're coming. Schwartz, speedy Schwartz. Looks for Tio. But also, safe also. She knows what she's doing. Maybe not. Tio, good push. Allen. Schwartz. McMahon's over there, but so's Reed who clears the ball. McMahon. McMahon. Chance now. Here she is, Allen. Oh. Good defense. Darcy Fister. Epping are coming. What a game. End to end stuff. 1 1. When a team has a chance, they counter-attack and they send it down the other end of the park. Now it's Rouse Hill's turn. Ferreira. What can the Rouse Hill team do? Lovely one-two, but Ferreira can't get the ball back. 
Nice pass. Cameron. Riley Cameron. Nice kick. Misses everything. Can the ball sit up? It looks like it might. Hurdle get there. No, she won't. She tried hard. But the ball just beat her over the sideline. Couldn't be much longer left in this one. A few minutes, maybe five, maybe a little more. Will the points go one apiece each way or can someone stand up, be noticed, kick that match winner? Let's hope so. Might be bouncing over the balustrade here. Throw in. Intercepted. Steedman. Steedman in the right area for Rouse Hill, but oh, there she is. Fantastic foley. What an afternoon for her. She's not been in the match. I'll give it away, but this lady's going to go pretty close. And Schwartz, so's Allen. Allen, lovely pass to Schwartz. Probably should have gone herself. She has the speed. This lady, Tio, she had a chance earlier. And sadly, on that occasion, she just can't seem to control it well enough. Schwartz, the quickest woman in Sydney, throws it in. Tio, can she control the ball? She does. Allsop's there. And a clearing kick by Rouse Hill. Steedman. Steedman now still. No, in fact, it's Grimer. And Sophia Moon, make sure of that one. Under 18 women's Division 1 matchup in this, the Northwest Sydney Football League. The Rams, three from three, but currently oh, they're all level on the score with the third place Epping Blue. As Heard, or should I say Hare, throws us in, tries to find Grimer, but there's white jerseys everywhere. And good defence again by Moon. Hare finds Ferreira. Back to Hare. Places the ball inside the 18 yard box. Ferreira. Cleared away by Epping. Also, that bouncing ball, and she's missed it with the left. Allen. Good defense. Good interception. Ken Epping now turns some defense into attack. The 18, McMahon, just too much on that. Couple of lobsters up here in the commentary box. Should have brought the sunblock, the SPF 50. I've left it in the bag. Throw in. Schwartz. Well defended. Interception again. Riley Cameron. Can she be the one to stand up? Good defence. Now Hare. What's she going to do? Oh, good defence. Sophia Moon. She's been good at the back too. Lovely pass. And then we've seen Raska almost playing more of a defensive role. She's been everywhere, man. All right. A little bit of sloppy football on display there and Luckily, the ball goes over the sideline for a Iris McKenna throw-in. Haven't heard that mean much today, but Iris certainly doing her stuff at the back. Tio Schwartz. The speedy Schwartz beats one. Keepers out. Schwartz off the left. Misses. Misses. Had her chance. Hit the woodwork. Score remains 1-1. She knows. She knows that was it. That was the margin breaker. And also misses that one. T.O. She's there to disrupt her. But so is McMahon. Schwartz. Not very often in life you get two chances, Schwartz. Sophia Moon. Lovely pass. Finds T.O. What's happened there? It's missed them all. And it's a goal kick. Well, Schwartz, I thought that was it. I thought that was the second. That was the margin breaker, but no. 
She wasn't denied by Spark. She was denied by the post. Would you believe it? As now we see Steedman. Can she put it past? Nice kick. Grime is speedy, but so is McAway. So there couldn't be many minutes left in this one. Also, not the best header. And an epping chance now. Georgia McMahon. Finds Teo, but Alsop's there. It's been a good little battle today. Oh, and maybe a little bit of, you know what, maybe opposing schools or they've met each other before because Teo said a little bit of get on that ground there. Alsop, as we come back for a free kick, and guess who? Miss Ponytail. Tess Alsop. And the official says, just move that ball back a couple of metres, Tess. You're too advantageous on that occasion. And Tess says, OK, sir. I'll listen, as a great Tess Olsop does. She comes in to kick it downtown. Not the greatest of kicks. And guess who? Sophia Moon. Hasn't she turned it on? There's certainly no moon here today, though. It's nothing but sun. But Sophia, she's been busy. OK. So, what's going to happen here, ladies and gentlemen? There couldn't be much longer left on the clock. Can we see another goal opportunities like that? You're lucky you've got Jenna McAway at the back because she's there again. The lady in lime green kicks it high and rangy. And it, Kayla Allen's there, but it beats them all over the sideline for a Rams throw in. Off the closed shoulder there, so it's play on. Schwartz, good defence. Foley, she's been great. Really good in the second half. As Alicia Foley, defensively sound. Nothing short of it. Ferreira. Steedman. Chance. Still on for the Rams. Guess who? Superb Schwartz. And she's away. Schwartz still. Great defense there by Alsop. Strength displayed. Head has a crack. Goal kick. Mack away. So it was Dahl in the first half, and it's been Foley in the second, who stood up at the back for the Epping side. Cameron, she's been great since she's come on. Ferreira, Cameron, has a crack. No one's there. A little bit of desperation football now. As we see someone in the foreground down, but is it Ferreira? It could even be Steedman. As the official makes her way over, I think it might be Steedman. Sophie Steedman, I think she just might be exhausted. No, she says, I'm okay. And in fact, it's the 13, sorry, Annabelle Cavallo. And she has gone off. So we'll keep an eye on Annabelle Cavallo for you as the six through Evie Petter makes her way back on the pitch. And a few more substitutions. The five in Monago and the 11 in Steedman. She's back on too. So can that injection be enough to see a Rouse Hill goal as the ball's at the wrong end of the park? And uh, not sure if that was the play, but nonetheless, Spark, she's as safe as houses. Saved a penalty in the first half. Stood up and said, you're not getting past me from 12 yards. Metcalf. Oh! It's a certain free. Time probably of the essence here, so the ladies might have to get a get along. 1-1. One, one. Only a few moments left in our second half of this round four fixture. Epping Football Club. Blue 1. 
Rouse Hill Rams, one. It's been some defensive football on display in the last few moments. That chance from Schwartz, it was so on. So we see Hare. Hare still. Teo coming across. And we see Raska playing more of a defensive role as we touched on, more attacking in the first half. The chip kick back to Hare. Hare, nice. Find Steedman. Awesome. She's been strong. She strikes out and instead of hitting the ball, hits the foot of Lucy Schwartz. So another free is awarded to the Epping side. So could it finish 1-1? It started level, nil all. Rouse Hill scored an early one while we we're making our way from level two to level three into the commentary box. And then we saw Jess Raska score the leveller. And since then, we've been goalless for close to 50 minutes of play. As Foley kicks it into Alsop. And Schwartz probably should have found the leveller. Looks like a, a closed shoulder, so the referee or the umpire says... Let's play on. And Steedman, she's really pestering McMahon there. McMahon elects to kick across the park to Hedges. She can't control it. Ken Petter. No, she can't either. So the ball will come back for a Hedges throw in. Coming up next. 3 p.m. game, match of the round. Proudly brought to you by the ACPE, the Australian College of Physical Education. What a game that'll be. The fourth placed Winston Hills Bears, the red side, fighting off against the North Rock Soccer Club, looking for their first win of season 2020. So stay tuned for that in only a few moments' time. But for now, it's 1-1. Rams, Epping Blue. And the referee says, let's come back for a spot kick for the Rams. I'd go long. They do just that. Who's there? Five. Petta coming through. Grimer. Well saved. A bit more bark off the knees for McAway, but she knows what it means to the side from Epping with a save like that. Bouncing ball. Alsop, though, always safe she is. Schwartz. If she was in open pasture, she was away, but good defence by Fister. McMahon. A bit too much on that. Throw in Rouse Hill. Petter couldn't control the ball on that occasion. And Epping go quickly. Can we see Kayla Allen back in some open pace? Some open space as she heads it to herself. Allen, the ball just beats her over the line. Looping kick. Wrong end of the park. If you're supporting the Rams. The right end if you're supporting Epping. So. Could almost be the last chance. For the Epping Football Club. Allen. For throwing. Tries to find Schwartz. Will the ball go out for a corner kick? Allen. Not. Not a best of the afternoon, and it will be a goal kick to Rouse Hill. We see the as we see the match of the round for the Hills football women's Premier Division warming up beneath us. As we touched on, it'll be a fantastic game between the Winston Hills Bears, the red team, of course, and the North Rock Soccer Club still looking for victory number one. 
So stay tuned for all the action. But I wouldn't be leaving your screens just yet because it's one apiece. And Epping's coming strong. And ladies and gentlemen, that spells an end to a fantastic match here at Valentine Sports Park. Nothing separates the two. They started at nil-nil. Rouse Hill opened the scoring 1-0. And then a Raska special level us up at one apiece. But at the end of the 90 minutes, it's Epping 1. Rouse Hill Rams 1. Nothing separates the two. We thank you for your company. And stay tuned for our match of the round in the Hills Football Women's Premier Division. But for now, we'll leave you. And we thank you for your company once again. Happy Mother's Day to all. And we'll see you on the other side of this.